To show file upload in Bootstrap modal, we need to use a library called Bootstrap FD. So search for Bootstrap FD. And select the jQuery script.net link. And download the library. After download, extract the files. And go to distribution folder and copy CSS and JS file in your project. For this library, you will need to have jQuery and Bootstrap included in your project. If you have not already set up Bootstrap in your project, you can just copy these CDN links. Now we need to include the library files, first we will include CSS file. and then JS file. Create a form where you will select files, you might also have other fields too in your form. Create a button which when click will display a pop-up to select files. Attach a click listener to it. and create that function in JavaScript. To open dialog, this library provides a method which can be called like $.filedialog. And you can pass additional options inside its constructor. For example, if you want to select only image files, then you can set the accept key and its value to image. And steric means that all type of images. You can find detailed list of other options on library page. So now you will be able to select only image files. Now once user select some files, we need to store them in an array. So attach a chain function called on. And on files will be called when user select some files and press OK. And second parameter will be the function. Create a global array which will store all images selected by user. Now this event has all the files, so we loop through all files and push in our array. All files has been added in array. Now we need to display the preview of selected images. Create a div tag. And give it a unique ID. And before the loop, create an HTML string variable, which will contain all images. And inside loop, create an image tag. And its source must be file content. And to display them correctly, we are setting its width and giving it some margin. Finally, we will add this HTML variable to our div. So here are all the images I have selected. Now we need to send them as with form so they can be saved in database. Give form an ID so it can be accessible in JavaScript, and attach a submit event. Return will be used to prevent the default behavior of form submission. Here return false will prevent the form from submitting. Get this form in JavaScript. And create a form data object from this form. Now we will loop through all selected images and append them in form data.
Make sure to add these brackets for multiple images. Now we will send this data using Ajax, create an Ajax object. In Ajax open method, set the method type to post, file name which will handle the request, and asynchronous. And send the form data in Ajax. Now we will receive the response from server, so add on ready state change listener. Response will be received when ready state is 4 and status is 200. And response text will display the response sent from server. Create a new file named http.php. Here we will loop through all images selected by user, so we can save them separately. First parameter will be the name we set when appended in form data. Second will be name, this is the name of file is saved in computer. Here we will set the path of image where they will be stored in server. So the images will be stored by their file name. Now create a new folder named images. And to save in database, we have to create a new table named images. And for the sake of simplicity, we are just adding two fields in it. Auto increment ID, and image path. First connect with database. and run a query to insert a new row in images table. This will save the path in database. Now we need to save the actual image in server. So call move uploaded file function. First parameter will be image temp name. And second will be path where you want to store the image. Finally send the response back to client. Now you see the database is empty. And the images folder is empty too. Create a submit button which when click will submit the form. If you are using Mac or Linux, you also have to set the right permissions to your folder. And if you are working on cPanel, you can set right permissions from file manager. So the path has been saved in database. And all the images has also been saved in server. So if you face any problem in following this, feel free to ask in the comments section below.